Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aquarius, today will do your monthly reading, and this will be for the month of February 2020. As you know, loves, it's a general read. My resonate with you. Why not? Take it accordingly. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus, Science. Let's see here, my loves, what we got here from the Lenormand, the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. And could be taken as an advice, could be taken as just a message. I'll try to do as many messages as I can get from the Spirit. That's why it's a general reading with multiple messages. And sometimes just to be specifically for a specific storyline and sometimes could be a uh, bigger than that let's see here loves what we got and how we're moving forward with this energy sun moon rising science and venus science also i have a wisdom of the oracle deck cards for you and of course our energies from the spirit and the messages for you are you thinking to take a new beginning here? There is a lot of obstacles, but definitely it is can be done. That's what I hear. This can be done. Step by step. It's kind of by the book, but can be done. And I want to say happy birthday to all of you who are celebrate the birthdays. Many blessings. Happy healthy and prosperous abundant and successful let's see here Aquarians and I'm just recording this reading right before the new moon which is in Aquarius let's see here loves the fish which that is luck number 35 the anchor and seeking something here I feel here like whatever you are right now you are seeking something you are seeking your happiness or somebody who made you happy could be a past person you you're looking like searching something for some of you you searching for new ideas new things or for whatever so whatever problem you have right now you are seeking a solution for it for some of you, you might you might want to change the the home or where you living here and that will be with luck to you loves very beautiful cards here you might feel that you have a lot of things to deal with but your strength will help you to overcome that Yes, there are some things you're going through right now that will change. But there are some things also you need to cut it off. Whatever it is. For some of you, you might change a situation in your favor. Also with this card at the end, it's telling me here, watch the words you are speaking because sometimes you might try to say to somebody they are true colors or whatever it is and they could take it the opposite way like you try to express yourself and people misunderstanding you okay whatever it is whatever you are going through now it is a must to a clean up or to leave something behind to let the new to come in here and I am pretty sure you all Aquarians heard this story or at least a few of them that was a man for some of you it's very they are this man which is Steve Harvey you might heard about it and for some of you love it for some of you not really but he said that one time and I love the way he said it he told his mom that mom I will change this car this old car but the old car stay in the driveway 
and all the time, every time he came back to work from work, he said, "Mama, I will change the car." And his mom said, "Like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay." And one time he's like, "Mom, why you say this?" Is like, how you can change for a new car? Where you'll put the new car? And he immediately, immediately, took the old car, give it away, and the next time he bought the new car and put it over there. And I might not say it very in a good way, but it tells me here what is whatever is not good for you, what whatever you feel to need to let it go, let it go. Make the room for new stuff. And I feel here your strength, your strength and your beliefs, your faith. For some of you, you need to believe in you that that will change. For some of you, yes, there are some problems around your home environment or somebody around your home. You're seeking a solution and you will get the solution. But something also needs to clean up whatever it is. Yes, my loves, yes. Let's see here what the wisdom of the oracle, what's the message from the wisdom, and how we're moving forward for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Science, and Venus Science. Co-create. Loyal heart. And higher power. All right, loves. I definitely see here it is somebody who loves you because the lawyer heart is like a soulmate energy. But I feel here it is somebody here believes in you. Okay? And once you see that you have more to give than what you see right now, higher power some some of you you need to connect with your inner guides and for some of you you are very very much into that field of like we can do it teamwork helps a lot and as you see here when we assume up all these cards we have 40 we have 4 and 3 plus 5 is 8 when you divide it again 4 and number 4 it's as you know a house have 4 walls or a room have 4 walls and such and such and this whatever it is right now it regards your stability because number 4, 4 of 1's it's about stability and I feel here whatever it is here It's all about your own stability. For some of you, the, the, the guides you have inside you will save you in a situation you, you need to overcome. Because I see you here, you are thinking, but it's somebody bigger than you which shows you the answers. And as you see here is an egg here. Okay, and the egg many times is the birth of an idea is inside you. Let's see, loves. Let's see. What the spirit want to share with you was the energies around you and how we're moving forward with this for the lovely Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. of pentacles working as a team being productive I see you very busy here also a little struggle here a little sacrifice but I see you very very much onto your work 
it sometimes is overwhelming. For some of you, it is a work situation you really put so much and you sacrifice for that job. You feel like it's it's too too much. Like the energy I have it is like sometimes is too much. Like sometimes you are about like I don't know what else to do. I work hard. I can do it, but it's it's a lot on your shoulders. And something it feels like I know that's need a change because the hangman does know is a must of a change. But boy, it's so heavy. It's so hard. For some of you it is a work situation, for some of you it is a it is a relationship who you sacrifice and it shows me here is like you 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 put so much and you feel it's so heavy it's a long-term relationship for some of you you've been with somebody here even you know eight years three years eight years eleven years it's a long-term connection but now it's for some reason a little overwhelmed knight of swords Devil, Capricorn energy here, Ace of Swords, Emperor, Four of Swords, Six of Swords. Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. All right, loves. With the work, we'll start moving forward, loves, okay? It takes some time and it's like you will succeed only if you love it. If you feel overwhelmed and you feel it's not for you, that will be heavy. For some of you, it is a relationship who it's a little stagnant at this time could be with an earth sign, I see Taurus, I see Capricorn, I see also an Aries here, could be a Pisces, I see a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn strongly. But for some of you, the communication is a little off. Like somebody here struggles for the power. It's one wants to be on top of things. Another one feels like whatever I do is not correct. The stubbornness, the imbalance. It's like it is a commitment imbalance. But what I do see here, it's imbalanced because they are two strong heads here, very strong. And one is very much like, I need to do this right now, right here, right now, right here. The other one's like, no, I know it better. But I feel here there is some movement here. One of you is thinking to leave or to feel like I'm not understood I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. Because I don't feel you are talking or expressing too much. Because I see a very closed person. Also, I see somebody is very much, could be you, could be the other person. Watch your temper or the way you, your voice looks like sometimes like I I might talk with somebody and somebody say like you are too bossy and I didn't even mean it that but that's how I sound too and I feel here somebody here tries to hold everything I am the truth I know the better and the other one is like no I do know and that's how starts the thing that's why I feel here it's a little imbalanced energy here and needs more balance. But I feel here is like somebody is like, I'm 
I'm done. Somebody here is like, my powers are over. I don't see you are divorcing or anything like that for those of you who are in a commitment. But I feel here that struggle for power or who, who knows better, who knows best here. For those of you who are wanting a new job or you are signing new contracts, be aware of what do you sign over there, okay? Because those contracts are not really quite what you're looking for, okay? You might not see here whatever you sign clearly. Read and reread the script, okay? Let's see here. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Somebody here is wanting things to move fast for some of you you definitely are connected with a fire sign but there are too many people in the mix here For some of you, you are dealing with somebody who who might leave. It's kind of they they give up on on this connection too soon or too quick, or you feel they don't put too much effort in it. Why the devil here, son, magician? Ace of Wands. You still love and have a lot of passion for this person. And also if you have children, you have passion for those too. Like my family, my everything. But somebody here is very much giving up and I don't feel it's you. Let's see here. Why this Four of Cups? Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups and Eight of Swords. There are some struggles, as you know, every single family has it. But I feel here you, you, Aquarius, and the person you are dealing is a mass of balance. And how you find that balance is within you too. And I feel here, for those of you who are not communicating, I feel here it's a thing like we need to. We need to talk. We need to express straightforward. Because is a change happening here with this death, Scorpio energy here. It is a change in that. And whatever it is, you will overcome. I feel here there is a family situation in here who has some difficulties. Could be financial, could be emotional, but definitely will be overcome this opening up. It's kind of let's sit on the table, on these chairs, on this table, and you tell me what you had, you tell me what we have, and how we can do this. Also, patience. One of you could run out of patience here. But I definitely see movement forward with this Kinserian energy. I definitely see movement forward for you, loves. Absolutely. Again, 
look deep inside you also you know that whatever is here is not forever will be some struggles here but you will overcome them there's no doubt and for some of you is just a test from the universe or how you can keep this connection strong or how you both like how strong you both are but definitely here the love is here but a must of patience is here I see a lot of signs here but the thing is for this to be restored to work it's mostly like having patience with each other understanding each other and don't be too harsh on each other be more understandable because I've been saying this quite a bit here sometimes people are guessing and or they are I thought you were thinking of this or you want this yes you thought Every time when you don't ask, the answer is no. And you just guessing and feeling that's correct, that's from your perspective, not from the other person. And that needs to be overcome. Because sometimes we assume things, but they are not like that. Could be quite the opposite. And making the things we thought is right and correct that's not making them for the other person and that's why I do see here there are two people who need to sit down and basically talk basically express because I feel here the communication is off or minimal you do love this person you're really happy when you are around this person but those things you both do and sometimes one of you could be too much or overwhelmed or I do this others like it's the stress between you two makes like to make this connection at work which is not that and to make something work, you need to say it out loud. I do not see for any of you here who are coupled a divorce, but there are a lot of misunderstandings that need to be overcome, which more the communication needs to be here. Whatever it is regards your finances, that will be a balance too, but I feel here there is a must of going a little bit further. The, the finances will pick up a little later on. For those of you who are thinking of a business or creating something, that will pick up in the fall season mostly but whatever you sign whatever contract you sign you might be happy and good but read that script because I see here something is not quite what you you will be reading and you'll feel like signing it it's awesome it's good but I don't see that quite good okay so be very very cautious of that so my lovely Aquarius this is what I got for you for this month and I hope helped somebody and if you didn't subscribe please do and if you like this video and resonates with you this video I'm happy to listen those comments thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now